guys. <laughs> so I just did like a whole little video and thank God I caught that before, before I just like totally filmed the video vertically again. Um, so I had to make sure my little thing was like, it's filming horizontal. So I don't want to get back all into like everything I just talked about. So thank God I caught that like two minutes in. Okay. So welcome to another video, you guys. This video is going to be me doing my basically revealing my name reveal. So as you guys know, um, a couple months ago in October, I had a seance reading done and in the seance reading, um, I pretty much was, it was just, it was pretty much brought to my attention of a spirit attachment. So AKA spirit attachment. It's not necessarily a spirit. It was more of, there was a, a, a past life version of myself coming through strongly in the reading. And so what happened is back in 2012, <laughs> my, my journey began in 2012. Okay. I started reading tarot, learning the tarot cards in 2012. And then in 2013, 2014 ish, I created the cackling moon. I went through a different name, but then I switched it over to cackling moon because of drama. That's just not important now, <laughs> but cackling moon was born. Right. And, um, and I've had cackling moon ever since. So it's been a seven year journey as cackling moon. Also as Rose, I created Rose as an alias because I wanted to go by a name that wasn't my real name for the sake of the fact that I was living a double life. If you want to be dramatic, <laughs> I'm living a double life. Um, I have a lot of friends and family, both friends and family, um, that just don't know about this part of myself, that, that they don't know that what I do, that I do what I do um, for the sake of my own privacy and because I just, just don't want them to know. Um, and so I created an alias so that it would just be, I felt like having an online persona, like I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram. If I went through by a different name, it would just be easier for me to really separate the two lives. So for seven years, I've been literally living two lives. I've been having me and then I've been having Rose, right? Cackling Moon. Well, this year I moved into my house, right? And it was after living at my mom's house, moving back to her house for two years prior to it to save money. Two years before that, <laughs> so four years ago, um, my husband and I had gotten married in 2015. We moved into our apartment for two, we lived in the apartment for two years. So that was nice to have like a, a taste of living on our own. We were late bloomers. Um, and then we moved back home, saved money, and then we bought this house. So literally, January or like if you want to really be technical, it's like the last week of December of 2018 We moved into this house and I feel like because I've been embracing literally Having my own place having my own house having my own space. I Really really feel like I want to shed some of these extra layers that I created for myself for so long and so I think a lot of that energy was um was pretty much like coming through in my seance reading that I was having with Lexi. And um, in the seance, like I said, in the other video, you, you could catch that other video. I should probably, I'll probably, I'll link it in the description box. So if you haven't seen it, go, go watch it first and then come back here. <laughs> um, but basically in the seance reading, Lexi brought up, you know, um, a past life version of Rose and that that person is overpowering me. So it's almost like, it's almost like, like I created this alias for myself, but it's almost like the alias is taking over and I'm losing sight of who I really am. And when, when she said that, and when she brought that up in the reading, I was like, that is so how I've been feeling. Um, I know it sounds crazy and whatnot, but I have literally been feeling like I miss me. Okay. Um, I love Rose. I love the alias that I created. I love being her. I love all of that, but I don't like the feeling of her being another element. And that's how she's been feeling lately to me. Literally, as I'm saying it, I'm saying she, her, you know what I mean? Like I'm not addressing her as me. Like I, sometimes I feel like I'm disconnected from Rose. Like it's like, it's almost like I'm, I go in a trance and I'm like a different person when I'm becoming her. And I don't want it to be that way. I, I need, 
I need everything to be connected. So um, the seance reading really, really brought that out. And it was a beautiful reading and it, it was like, I need to think on this. <laughs> I can't be impulsive, like I can't, my Gemini rising wanted to be impulsive and just be like, I'm, I'm done with Rose, like I'm just gonna embrace my name. But I was like, no, there needs to be some work done. And even Lexi mentioned it. So um, in November, the, the Crow Conjuring, which is the subscription group that I'm a, a part of. So if you guys don't know about them, I'll link them below so you can check them out. Um, I'm part of the Crow Conjuring. You pay $13 a month. You get a password to the website. You And the website has access to meditations, Reiki healings, um, card readings, everything. Like it's just really, it's a really fun website. It's really cool. Um, they have like journal prompts and stuff. Like I like the journal stuff, <laughs> but, um, it's, it's just, it's a really fun subscription based thing. It's, 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 it's just pretty cool. So in November they had a past life, um, a, a, like a soul retrieval, meditation a past life regression meditation i've never done one of those i've always heard of it i've heard i knew a couple people who did it and basically in a past life regression you go in a meditative state you pretty much jump into a past life and you see a version of yourself in the past life and it's supposed to teach you things about you in the present because if you guys believe this i believe it but um you pretty much we've all had past lives previous lives and things that we did in previous lives will sometimes come through in our present. So like if you're battling with an addiction in your present life, sometimes it has to do with something in the past life. Um, your inability to do things in the present has something to do with the past life. So it's weird. Like I've had, um, I've had readings done on past lives and some stuff was like interconnected. Like one reader would say something and then another reader would tell me something very similar. So it's just like, and then your own dreams are sometimes like snapshots into the past life. So you could go really deep in all, in that all, the whole thing. But, um, so I participated in the past life regression meditation and I was mind blown. <laughs> uh, it was like before even like before Nancy was even prompting us to like begin the trend, like transcending into your past life. I was already there. It was like Rose was just waiting for me. Um, and so my experience with the past life was very, um, was very beautiful. It was, I was pretty much taken through um, a stony step, like staircase kind of a thing. Um, Rose was taking me through like it was like it was like back in the days um, in Ireland she was a nun in Ireland and she was like taking me through this like old churchy looking like stone place and she was just showing me like the blending of faith and spirituality and so that's always been like the essence of Rose when I was like first diving into this alias right um, blending both my, my, um, belief in God as well as like the spiritual, like this, this stuff that I like to do. And that's always been a part of my path. And so it just blew my mind that the past life Rose was the same way. She was a very strict, um, Roman Catholic, but she was also like a Catholic nun, but she was also very spiritual on the side, like hush, hush, kind of like, like a witch, you know, hush, hush. So anyway, the past life thing just like blew my mind. And the one thing that I particularly remember in this meditation was I was literally repeating to her, please let me go, let me go, let me go. Um, in other words, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to detach from that version. Um, and basically it's like, that was me in a past life and now I have to embrace my present life. And my present life is different from the past, obviously. Um, and one of the biggest things that I think will kind of jumpstart my ability to detach from that is to get rid of the name Rose. Um, because, like I said, it's feeling more of an entity and not, and not me. Like it feels like it's another person, if that makes sense. Um, and that's what Lexi was saying in the reading too. And it was just like, yeah, that's exactly how I've been feeling. And it's like, I want to embrace me. Like I want to feel me. I want to feel magical. And the, the, the biggest thing that made me feel the way I felt 
is I told Lexi and I and I um and I just I knew it like I felt I feel it every single time but <laughs> when I say or if I hear someone say my real name in terms of tarot it doesn't feel natural it feels like a bad word and I was telling Lexi that like I go my own real name feels like a bad word coming out of your mouth because Lexi was calling me by my real name in the reading and um, it was nice, it was like liberating, but it was so weird at the same time because I have, literally, I have separated the two for seven years. That's a lot of layers to break and to, you know, <laughs> to peel yourself away from and to finally like set yourself free. It's a lot of layers, it's a lot of years. So when Lexi was saying my name, like I liked it, it was very, um, liberating, but it was so foreign. <laughs> and it's my name, you guys. That's my birth name. Like, it shouldn't feel that way. So I want to get to a place where I feel very natural. And it's seven years of this. I just saw 1111, which is like positivity, like be positive. Um, and, and it's also 1111 was like the beginning of my tarot journey. So that's freaking amazing. Yay! Okay, so I'm on the right path. <laughs> Um, but basically I, I understand that seven years is a long time to, to know me by a certain name for you guys. So I'm talking for your guys' perspective. I understand that seven years is a long time for you guys to know me as Rose. And then for me to all of a sudden throw out, Hey, that's not my name. I want to go by this now. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> All of my social media is going to have my real name, okay? Just my first name. Um, my emails, when I send my emails, my signature is going to start having my first, my, my name. I'm no longer going to be going by Rose, but if you still want to call me Rose, you can. Um, because it may feel weird for you. It may feel weird rolling off your tongue to call me by my real name. Um, it may not feel natural to you, and that's okay. I understand. I hope that eventually with time and probably a couple years, <laughs> but with time, um, then my real name will start to stick and it'll start to feel more natural for you guys. But you got to know that like, if it's, if it's going to be weird for you, then it's going to be hella weird for me. So, but it's something I want to do. Um, and it's like, I remember when, when, um, Kellyanne Maddox and, and happy fish tarot, she now goes by her name, Carrie Mellon. I remember when they um, all switched out the Happy Fish Tarot, or for Kellyanne Maddox, she, she took away the four queens, um, and they finally embraced their name, and it was a big deal for them, and it was a big deal for me, because it was like, dude, I wish I could do that, but I can't, <laughs> and now I'm telling myself I can, and I want to, and I will, so without further ado, um, I will tell you guys what my real name is. And some of you guys have already tried to guess. <laughs> no one got it right, by the way. Um, and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put my, as soon as I upload this video to YouTube, I'm gonna be putting my real name on my social media. So you'll see it on my Twitter, you'll see it on my Instagram, you'll see it on my emails when I send out my emails with your readings. If, like I said, if you guys still wanna call me Rose, call me Rose, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. It's a family name, okay? It's no, so, so it's not like some like random ass name that I came up with. It is a family name. Um, if you wanna blend my real name with Rose, you could do the two, I don't care. Um, but I just wanted to, I felt like it was like finally ready to do it because there's nothing else that I'm waiting for. Just, just do it. So my real name is Rachel and it feels weird saying that <laughs> it feels weird saying that out loud um I I just I oh it's gonna be so hard it's gonna be so hard letting go but I'm ready I'm ready to embrace me and the reason why is because Rachel is not gonna be a bad word anymore Rachel and tarot Rachel reads tarot Rachel is a tarot reader. Rachel is the cackling moon. The cackling moon is Rachel. Like I have to keep saying it as I say it, it feels more natural and it flows. And I want to eventually have Rose feel alien, right? Because Rose was a past life of me. 
She lived and learned and had her life. But now I need to embrace me in this present. And in this present life, I go by Rachel. And so that was the name my mother gave me. And that's the name I need to embrace because this is the path I chose to take for myself. The spiritual, the tarot, the cackling moon. And it just makes sense to be me. So it feels so good to finally say it. <laughs> and so now that I have said it out loud, you guys are allowed to say it out loud as well. So some of you already knew my name and I, and I thank you for keeping it hush hush until I came out with it. So those of you guys who knew my name prior to this, thank you for holding that space for me. Um, but I am ready to let that go. So, <laughs> so if you guys are seeing my social media and you are seeing who's Rachel, like that's me. Um, if you have questions, ask me, I'm not going to get mad. Like send me a DM or whatever. Um, I hope you guys watched the whole video. If you just tuned in and you like fast forward it all the way to the end and you're like, what the fuck is she talking about? Like watch the whole video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it feels really good to say it um, and I'll say it again. So I am Rachel. I am a tarot reader and the creator of the Cackling Moon. I created the Cackling Moon in 2013, 2014. I started learning, I'm self-taught, I learned the tarot in 2012. Um, and I that's when I started this whole freaky, freaky path <laughs> in 2012. I had my awakening. Um, I have various accounts on social media. So I have a YouTube, <coughs> obviously, hello. <laughs> I have um, an Instagram account, The Cackling Moon. I also have a Twitter account, Cackling Moon. So every, all the information is below in the description box. Um, so if you want to catch me on all of those other social medias, follow me there. Um, and I also offer services. I do tarot readings. So. If you want your cards read, um, I do offer tarot readings in the form of video. So it's just like this. You get to watch a video reading. Um, but check out my website, thecacklingmoon.com. And like I said, I just caught 1717, so I got to go look that up now. <laughs> um, so like I said, slowly but surely, like the website, I'm going to go and try to update it right now from my phone if I can. But the social media, if you guys start to see Rachel popping up, that's me. Okay, you guys? So little by little baby steps, but this is the big step. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me. And I will talk to you guys soon in my next video. Bye loves.